Aloha, everybody. I want to share a special recipe with you that everybody goes crazy over on Instagram. It's my keto refried beans. And I know a lot of you are thinking, yeah, beans, those aren't keto friendly, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe some of you think that they are a protein. Well, beans have anti-nutrients, and so we're not going to use those. So what are we going to do to make refried beans and make them low carb? Do you know what this is? An eggplant, right? Huh? This is an eggplant. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said, huh, mom? I was like, yeah, I did, huh? Yeah? Well, you could use zucchini if you have zucchini, but eggplant is extra special. And you need some bacon to give it that nice smoky flavor. No. And garlic. You like garlic, right? No. Smell it. Oh, I wonder why vampires don't like this. <laughs> vampires. <laughs> and you need onion. And then you need some spices, like salt, cumin, um, chili powder. Oh, and if you like jalapeno, I'm a traditional German girl. I don't like spice, so I don't really do any spices except for the chili powder. But and we have our salt. So what you're going to do is you're going to throw your bacon into a cast iron skillet. No. Yeah. We're going to do that. And Micah, can you put the onion in there for me? And then you're going to cube the eggplant. Can you do that? I hate you bacon. Do it? I hate bacon. All right. Oh. All of it? Yep, all of it. All right. So I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Micah, can you stir it? I should be more prepared. Here. I'll turn this down a little, and you just stir that up, okay? He likes bacon. Do you like bacon? No. No, he does not like bacon. So I'm going to cube this. Um, I do want some garlic in here, so. No! Why garlic? That in oh, garlic's magical. I actually um, roasted this. You don't have to do that, but that's how I like it. It's a little bit milder and sweeter. Most kids will like that type of garlic. But you're going to cube the eggplant. And I like to have the skin off of it to make it nice and nice and smooth. Good stirring, Micah. Don't cut your hand. I know, like I did last time. So we're going to get rid of that. And... Then you're going to just start cubing it up. It doesn't really matter what the size is, but that's what you want um, to saute to get it really, really soft. And the bigger the eggplant that you use, the seedier it will be. So we'll just put that in there. It looks like pineapple. Pineapple? <laughs> we are in Hawaii. You will never believe what happened last night. There was an earthquake offshore, and we got a phone call that we need to be aware that we might need to evacuate because of a tsunami. And we don't have a car here. All we have are bicycles. And so it was dark out and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to get my cuties into a bicycle to ride uphill. But anyway, uh, we're gonna just uh, keep that sauteing. The bacon grease is going to uh, you know, suck into the eggplant and make it really, really nice and soft and wonderful. But and then just one, a one foot wave. So oh yeah, there was not a tsunami yeah. last night. Nobody panic, right? Um, and then you're just gonna add your spices. So your cumin, your chili powder, and if you're using jalapeno, you're gonna saute that. But you're gonna put that in there. And then some salt. I like my Redmond salt. If you wanna save 15% on salt, use the code MARIA15. Uh, but all right, so once this is sauteed, and the bacon is pretty tender, I think we're gonna keep sauteing a little bit more. Kai, do you want to turn? You want to do it? Four. All right. Cups. You want to read that to them? Yeah. This is four cups. Four, four cups of eggplant. Yep. And mommy's handwriting is not so good. Four slices of a bacon. Bacon. One. One cup of onion. 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 And two. two. Cloves of garlic. Yep. Yeah. And jalapeno. And then the spices. Yeah. So you're using one tablespoon chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin, and about a half a teaspoon of salt because the bacon will be salty. Now you can make this vegetarian if you want to, but everything tastes better with bacon, and I think you'd be disappointed if you didn't use the bacon. But the bacon will add some saltiness, so you don't need a lot of salt. So we're going to get this all set. Ready? All right, what do you think? Is it soft enough? Yeah. Yeah, you think so? All right, we'll turn this off. And I'm gonna use this, be careful, bud. And I love cast iron skillets because they stay nice and hot. Oh man. 
Yep. Now, the better your blender, the more pureed this is going to be. So, um, and do not make the mistake of using a hand mixer. I had someone very, very sweet try to make my chocolate pudding, and they said, but I don't have a blender, so I used a hand mixer, and it was real chunky. That's not gonna work in this situation. You want a blender or a food processor, um, so. And then you just want to like stick this down in there. Make sure it's. All chopped up so you can keep going with that but it's gonna be nice and smooth and you can put it back in your pan and cook it down even more and then but you can taste this and add any seasoning if you need more salt if you need more cumin whatever you need this is your refried beans now if you want to make like someone made my taco pizza recipe with it and they use the refried beans on it or if you want to do a bean dip mm -hmm. oh, yeah. seven layer dip something like that um, yeah, it's delicious and I'm, I'm serious. You got to try it. It's really, really good. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe and hit that post notification so you do not miss any of our future videos and like. <laughs>